What's going on guys, Nizion here bringing you another video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can remote control your personal vehicles as well as how you guys can go ahead and add missile jammers in GTA 5 online. But before I get started with today's video, if you guys aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep updated with all the quality gaming content in under 10 minutes. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's GTA Online video. So with addition to the new GTA Online, the contract update DLC uh, Rockstar have added a few new tweaks into the vehicle modification section especially if you already own an agency and if you do not know how to purchase an agency I'll have a video linked on the iCard right now on the top right of the screen redirecting you to one of my videos on showing you a quick tutorial on how you guys can go ahead and do that but essentially if you purchase an agency as well as got the garage with it as the customization option then you can go ahead and unlock Imani tech which is very very cool now what that actually does is with the new vehicles some of the new vehicles that have been added in GTA 5 online as well as some of the armored vehicles that are already in the game beforehand you can actually add this Imani tech into it now essentially what you got to do is get one of your personal vehicles that you bought whether it's the new vehicles or the old ones in today's video I'm going to be using uh, the uh, Buffalo STX is about 1.6 million from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website, which is not bad in my personal opinion. It's actually a very, very cool muscle car. Uh, it's based on the Hellcat in real life. You didn't already know Hellcat Charger. So it's a very, very cool car. So obviously after you purchase this, I sent it to my agency garage. And once it came in, then you can just customize it through that. And you will be able to see that there's a remote control unit for $235,000 on this specific vehicle and $400,000 for the lock on jammer on this vehicle. That means no one can lock on to your vehicle which is very very cool and it's better for you especially if you don't want to die from the mark II oppressors or something so it's very very cool and it's very good and helpful as well just to use a vehicle finally around gta online without it just getting blown up every single day and i know you and me always experience that so that's a very cool thing that rockstar have added you can also customize your vehicles with armor plates as well as add proximity mines to your vehicles which means the proximity mines you can put behind you by clicking the left stick in and then they'll blow up any vehicle that is behind you which is very very cool and they've added that into the game now to obviously access the rc function is very simple to do you just go under your interaction menu under inventory and you'll be able to see the remote control function and it's literally very very overpowered you can use this vehicle to drive around and do whatever you want and it's literally a ghost to drive in the vehicle you do not have to be sitting in the vehicle you can be somewhere else and do something and drive around with it is a very cool function that they've added into game and it's pretty cool to go ahead and use sometimes this is was a pretty short tutorial but it's very very cool what they've added into gta 5 online how are you feeling about the new update have you played any of the new contracts and vip contracts let me know that in the comment section down below i'll bring you be bringing you guys more content very very soon on this channel so stay tuned for that that's been it it's been a bonus i'll be catching you guys all in my next video peace out